Hey everyone, welcome to Saturday Night Live. Um, back at our regular time slot, 6 o'clock um, Australian Eastern Standard Time on a Saturday night. Um, thank you for Ram for joining me. Um, if anyone joins me live, thank you very much. If anyone's watching this back later, thank you very much as well. I know everyone's time is very valuable and it's always nice um, if you... Uh, I, I hope you're getting something out of this um, that makes it worthy of your time. So tonight's uh, live stream came about because I'm in the middle of preparing for the 29 day vlog challenge. And as I was going through my resource folder, um, I noticed that, that I, I've got things sort of split into categories. You know, I've got um, things on, well, at the moment I've got a lot of things on um, bushfire response and, and, and dealing with disasters. I've got um, separate folders for um, dealing with personality disorders, uh, dealing with attachment issues. Uh, I've got separate folders for um, schema-based resources. So all of these things split up. And I realized the one folder that I don't have is one on self-care, which struck me as a little bit strange because one of the uh, main reasons for starting this group was to... Um, give resources to mental health clinicians, um, share resources that I have found helpful working with clients, um, in part to help deal with a little bit of the, the isolation that can come from, from some, especially private practice work, um, but also reduce some of the stress that we feel sometimes if we might be a little bit stuck with a particular client or we're encountering a presentation that's a little bit new to us. The idea really was um, that, that this would be for personal and professional resources, um, but all about making the lives of mental health clinicians a little bit easier because the work is hard enough. We don't need to add any extra external stresses to the process of the work. So after all of that, it came as quite a shock that I didn't have any self-care folders. That has since been rectified and I thought I would share some of the things that I have put in there um, to uh, with you tonight um, to kick off um, our 29 day challenge as well uh, next week. So there's one week left to the 29 day challenge. Um, from next Saturday, I will be joining you live in the group for five to 10 minutes tops, sharing one new resource each day for the 29 days of February. Uh, if you are like me and a lot of other friends and colleagues. Um, most of us are kind of hoping to pretend that January just didn't happen and and I for one am certainly hoping that um, we can we can start 2020 fresh on the 1st of February. So um, this vlog challenge is a really good opportunity for me to do that. This is actually leaping into 2020, leaping into the leap year and that all starts from next Saturday. So this week you have the chance. Um, this is my um, my little um, guidebook. This is what I'm going to be using to come up with um, and plot out what resources on what days. Um, and thanks to Matthew for the suggestion, we're going to go on a little bit of an alphabet theme. It's probably going to be a little bit of a loose alphabet theme some days, but each day um, will be A, B, C, D, E. I will tell you now, D is going to be for dogs. It will be a dog-related resource of some kind or other. Um, I was thinking A could be attachment. Um, B, I'm already planning ahead. I want to share my emotion bingo game with you. <laughs> so um, if you have any ideas um, of any resources, it doesn't have to fit the, um, the alphabetical theme because I'm sure I can make it fit in some way or another. If you have any resources that you are particularly interested in, um, resources for a particular population that you might enjoy working with um, or that you might be new to working with, uh, resources um, to help with um, you know, potential, potentially um, assessments, whatever it might be, whatever's going to be of interest and of use to you, let me know this week and I will try and fit as many suggestions as I can into the um, resources for the 29 day challenge. Uh, I'll be posting a countdown into this group 
uh, probably this evening and um, there'll also be a, an invite to the event. The, the vlog challenge is going to have an event page as well and you guys will all be invited to that. So without further ado though, we will get into the self-care resources for this evening. And really I thought I'll start with the basics, seeing as um, this has been an area that up until now has been a bit neglected. So I'm going to be posting a link um, or a, no, I'll link, oh, sorry, I will post the PDF to a self-care assessment that's basically just asking you to evaluate how you're doing in a bunch of different and important domains in your life. So that might be with work, with um, family, with friends, with connection, it might be spiritual aspects, but just sort of checking in on each of those areas and see where you're doing well and where you might like to make some, uh, some changes or some improvements or just focus on that for a little while. Maybe you've realized that over, um, uh, over the Christmas New Year break, you've been doing really well and finally catching up with all of your friends that you didn't see during the year, the year last year, but you've fallen behind on your tax receipts, for example. Not that that's a personal thing at all. It is. But <laughs> whatever might be um, needing a little bit of a tweak for you, um, that's what I want to encourage you to work on from this assessment. So I'll post the link to the assessment and I just want you to have a look. You don't have to go through and tick all the boxes and give yourself a score or anything. Just reading through it is usually enough to make you go, oh yeah, that's it's been a while since I've done X, Y, and Z. And the other one that I will share um, into the group is, I've shared it a few times, but I just think it's so useful and so helpful and such a nice, simple way to organize self-care ideas for us and for our clients. Um, so I will share a copy of this again, the base. So um, the body care, what are you doing to look after your body? Are you eating properly? Are you sleeping okay? Are you drinking water? Um, and with the body care, also thinking about not just the have to's. I mean, you have to eat, you have to drink. Um, you have to sleep at some point, um, but the the want to's as well. You know, um, do you have a, a, an injury that you haven't been taking particularly good care of? Um, but also, when's the last time you had a massage or a facial or went for a walk that wasn't about exercise, that was just about just moving your body, if that makes sense? You know, just, just thinking about those, I don't have to do this, but it's something that I like, it's something that I enjoy massages may not be your thing that's fine maybe it's going to the hairdresser but it's anything that's just this is nice for my body um this is reminding my body that it does okay most of the time and i need to be nice to it um achievement and the most important thing with achievement is noticing when you have achieved so actually having that stop that pause and noticing um stopping to smell the roses of success, if you like, however you define success. But noticing when you have hit a milestone or achieved something that you didn't think you were going to be able to achieve, however big, however small, um, you know, we finally finished cleaning out our spare room that um, that I started like six months ago to um, to clear out the space to, to open up this study. It's taken six months. It may not seem like a big achievement at this point, but damn straight I'm noticing and I'm congratulating us for finally getting to it and getting it done. So big, small, whatever. If you've ticked something off your list, just stop, pay attention. Good work. I ticked that off my list. Connection, making the time to sit and talk and actually connect with those that you want to. This doesn't mean spending, um, you know, awkward family dinners with, with members of the family that you don't necessarily want to speak to. This is about um, sitting, making time and connecting with the people that you do want to spend time with. Um, that means putting the phones down, um, turning the TV off for a while, um, going to a restaurant where you can hear each other speak, um, but actually connecting, actually spending that time um, working on the relationship. And entertainment, the fun stuff. That could be, all of these can, can overlap, you know, 
you might um, uh, I don't know go to a time zone with a friend which is fun and it's a friend you haven't seen for a while so that's connection and you finally got organized and, and did something off your um, off your connection list so that's an achievement and because you were running around time zone all afternoon that was a bit of body care for example <laughs> um, I have not been to time zone in years I do not know why that example came up right now but anyway um, <laughs> So this is, yes, this is the base. So I'll be posting another copy of this into the group. I'm just noticing my nails match the base. Match the base. That, was, that was handy and completely planned, obviously. Um, okay, so my challenge to you this weekend before I start my challenge next weekend is pick something off that self-care assessment or off the base that you can change this weekend. We've got, um, we've got the long weekend happening. Um, hopefully you've got a little bit of extra time up your sleeve to just pick one thing. Maybe it's going to bed 15 minutes earlier. Maybe it's trying to drink a glass of water throughout the day. Maybe it's, uh, I'm going to message that friend and we're gonna make a time to catch up even if it's not till March, we'll book that in now. Whatever it is, just one thing that you could be doing a little bit better on your on your self-care checklist and if you go through the self-care checklist and go hey no I'm cool I'm doing really really well then stop notice and give yourself a pat on the back for that major achievement um, all right so enjoy your challenge I would love to hear how everybody goes um, with their with their little challenge or what sort of things that you've picked what things you want to work on what things you want to concentrate on this weekend one change that you can take from this weekend into your week and into your 2020 and other than that i will set off the countdown tonight and i will see you all in here next saturday for the first live stream in the 29 day vlog challenge have a fantastic long weekend and see you all next week bye